We're part of a global problem. Water is a major global issue. It confronts all our agriculture. The ability to provide food for an expanding population is a huge issue. And to do that without further trashing the planet is the biggest issue that faces us as a civilization. I can't think of an issue where we've had to so radically change our behavior as what confronts us in how we use water. For example, we have a pipeline proposed to Melbourne to take 75 gigalitres, I think it's about that, to Melbourne for water supply. Now, Melbourne's, if the climate pattern is what we think it'll be, we'll be under threat of water if we don't have that sort of money. You could get it from desalination. We made a choice to take it from the Murray-Darling Basin. But can we have a society that can say, no, the Coorong is more important than Melbourne to have that water. We need to pay more for water in Melbourne and desalinate. They're the sorts of hard choices that Australia hasn't had to make before. Do we value the Coorong and the lower lakes and the other wetlands, the lower Bidgees, uh, the, the Macquarie marshes, and I could go on, many of them, the Narran lakes. The questions we'll be faced, do we value them more than paying more for water in our urban centres in, say, Melbourne and not taking water out of the Murray-Darling and going through a desalination process? Continuing to do what we're doing, continuing to fiddle at the edges with reform rather than take the strong line I believe we need to take, which to say this basin is over allocated. We must reset it. We must help communities to adjust to living with 60% of the water we've had in the past, and that's urban communities and rural communities, both. We must be brave about that and take on the social issues and the political difficulties and make the change. If we do that, I believe we can, uh, we can turn it around. I think there's an awful... There's enormous resilience in the Australian landscape and I think we can bring it back, but we need the reform and we need to act now. But the bottom line is, you can only take so much water out of a river before you kill it. And once you kill it, you haven't got the water. As a whole Australian society, I believe we have a very real issue in front of us. How do we reset the Murray-Darling Basin so that our irrigation and our urban water use is in line with the capacity of those rivers to live, have their being in their own right and provide the irrigation that they can. We have lost our connections with the cycles uh, that have frequented this continent, Australia. And the, the uh, white population, the European population has lost, hasn't got that contact that the indigenous people have. The indigenous people have been very much affected by what we've done. I've seen them in tears sitting beside a billabong that's basically acid and destroyed, which had sacred and significance to them in ways that you and I may not recognise. But to them, that billabong had a spiritual nature to it. And our intervention in taking water for whatever purposes and causing sometimes for it to become acidified and damaged and lost its value is just awful for our indigenous people. They could, I sat I, with some beside a, a billabong and you couldn't hear a bird or a sense of living thing. Normally our billabongs are full of bird life, sound and scent that tell you that this is a living thing. For an Aboriginal people to experience that, it's nothing but pain, suffering and tears. It is that for me, but it certainly is that for them. Yeah.